Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my bookish life. <laughs> Today, my bookshelf Thomasville subscription came in. <laughs> so let's get to it. Uh, I forgot to cut this open <laughs> before I started filming. So there you go. All right, here we go. We have the Indie Press. Oh my God. Goodness, look at this. I love it. Okay. <laughs> hey, Amy, you know how when one thing goes wrong, everything seems to go wrong? Well, Kartik Raghavan has a lot on his plate and everything just seems to keep piling on top. With his family's store in trouble financially, his father has him running deliveries all over town on his bike. Meanwhile, his crush has her own crush at the moment and it happens to be his bully from school and then of course because when it rains it pours card hicks best friends are moving away one good thing does happen though cardick gets invited to star as a leonard bernstein in a play one of his customers is practicing putting on for her college class the only problem is he has to sneak around to practice since he isn't sure his parents would approve of his new after school activity you know what they say about when life gives you lemons if you like West Side Story, you'll love this month's pick. I do love West Side Story, so let's check this out. Okay. Look at this back. So pretty. All right, ready? Kartik Delivers by Sheila Chari. This is beautiful. <laughs> Bookmark. Okay. Uh, it seems like a lot of the synopsis that I'm going to find in here was on here this time. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's so pretty. Let's read the first sentence. I'm good at remembering things. Birthdays, driving directions, ice cream flavors, words to movies, the smell of shampoo, the scratchy grass I landed on when Jacob Donnell and Hoodie Menendez pulled down my pants in second grade. This sounds very cute. I love a good theater in the background story. <laughs> this is going to be so good. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm excited for this. This will be good. And I do have some students who love theater. So I can get this in their hands. Awesome. Have you heard of this one? I have not heard of this one. I also haven't heard of Finding Mighty, which is another book by the author, Sheila Chari. How does this sound to you? Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. This is a very, very short video, so I'm going to attach my um, books, books and treasure, um, onto it. They just didn't come at the same time this time. And I was too excited when I saw this. Look what just kind of came in the mail. <laughs> so I'm going to open this too. All right. So here we have blueberry vanilla coffee, butter toffee, and French vanilla. I hid the card. <sighs> Goodbye winter, hello spring. We hope much joy this book will bring. Happy reading, Sarah and Eric, Books and Treasure. <sighs> Just makes me feel so special. Set. Oh, what's this? Oh. 
Set that aside. Oh my gosh. Honey sticks. They're so pretty too. Look at, they just look pretty. But there's clover, raspberry, green apple, blackberry, cinnamon, lemon, vanilla, peach, orange, and watermelon. <sighs> lemon honey doesn't, well, lemon tea with honey in it tastes good. I don't know. Green apple and honey. I, mm, okay. I don't know. I love, <laughs> I love honey sticks. Uh, I remember going to like farmer's markets when I was younger and there was always a honey stand and we would always get honey sticks. It was the best. Oh my gosh. This, uh, I'm going to take this out because it's just going to blow if I don't. And it's gorgeous. So you have to get the full effect. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's a blank notebook, but look at that. And it's just bookish. And it's just like this. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, what do I, oh, I don't know what to do with that, but it's so pretty. Okay. Oh. Uh, so this is oh oh uh, so this is a magnet and it says I closed my book to be here. <laughs> I love that. That's this is gonna go in my classroom. I've just decided. Okay. Apple harvest soy wax melts from Heavenly Scents. I like that. I like it. I like it a lot. The mug. Oh, nice. A little imperfection there, but oh. I like these colors. Very cool. It's a heart. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. <gasps> Look at it, it's a little lollipop. Oh. oh my gosh, I love this so much. Oh, so cute. Treat yourself. All right. Emery's Gift by W. Bruce Cameron. I love the dogs, a dog's purpose and a dog's journey and a dog's way home. I have heard of this. Okay. After 13 year old Charlie Hall's mother dies and his father retreats into the silence of grief, Charlie finds himself drifting lost and alone through the brutal halls of junior high school. But Charlie Hall is not entirely friendless. In the woods behind his house, Charlie is saved from a mountain lion by a grizzly bear, a species thought to be extinct in northern Idaho. And this very unusual bear will change Charlie's life forever. Deeply moving and interwoven with hope and joy, Emery's Gift is not only a heartwarming and charming coming-of-age story, but also a page-turning, insightful look at how faith, trust, and unconditional love can heal a broken family and bridge the gaps that divide us. Oh. That 
That sounds so good. I thought I saw Emery today. He'd be pretty old for a grizzly bear. I saw him when I was in the eighth grade, slightly more than 25 years ago. Male grizzlies can certainly live into their late 20s, but it's not typical. And I had not been so excited that I would have realized that the huge male I spotted clambering out of the river was simply too spry to be who I thought he was. Though I am a bear biologist by education and training, I'm... I've spent most of the past year examining dirt of all things, specifically the dirt on the banks of rivers where bears congregate. That's the prologue. This is going to be good. I'm, I'm excited. Okay, wait a minute. W. Bruce Cameron wrote eight simple rules for dating my teenage daughter. I didn't know that. All right. <laughs> All right. So these are my two surprises this month. I am very excited for both of these. <sighs> I don't know when I'll get to them, but I'm very excited. <laughs> Have you heard of either one of these books? Have you read either one of these books? Did you like them? I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from me, please feel free to subscribe. I hope you're finding something wonderful to read. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.